Hey everybody, this is example number five for mechanics of materials covering column buckling. The problem statement that we have is the 14 feet wooden rectangular column shown below is fixed at both ends. Assuming that yielding does not occur, find the critical buckling load and the modulus of elasticity for the wood we can take at 1600 KSI. So here's our wooden rectangular column fixed at both ends, has an unbraced length of 14 feet. Unbraced length of 14 feet. On, to the left, we have the cross-sectional view. It's 2 inches by 4 inches. The 2-inch parameter, the dimension, we call it B. 4-inch, we call it H. And then we show the X and Y axis, the local axes for the cross-section. First thing we're going to do is get the section properties. So moment of inertia about the X axis is equal to BH cubed over 12. And this comes out to be 10.67 inches to the fourth power. And this spreadsheet is available at our website at engineeringexamples.net, where you can get this, web, uh, this spreadsheet as well as many other spreadsheets as well. The moment of inertia about the y-axis is equal to hb cubed over 12. And that's equal to 2.67 inches to the fourth power. The effective length factor k is equal to 0 0.5 because this is fixed this is a fixed fixed boundary condition fixed fixed boundary condition so for this uh, for this scenario it's equal to 0 0.5 unbraced length for both axes is equal to 14 feet now we can calculate the critical buckling load e it's equal to pi squared times the modulus of elasticity times the least moment of inertia divided by the effective length squared plug in the numbers pi squared 1600 ksi Least moment, of, least moment of inertia is equal to IY, so it's 2.67 inches to the fourth power, divided by the effective length uh, squared, so it's 0 0.5 times 14 feet, multiplied by 12 to get into inches squared. So our critical buckling load is equal to uh, 5.97 kips. And again, uh, in the spreadsheet, I calculated the critical buckling load about the x-axis and y-axis separately. But in the calculation, I just went directly. I just calculated because I knew the effective, because we know the effective length is equal for both, uh, for both axes. So all we have to do is just use the smallest least moment of inertia. And so the, uh, so the critical buckling load is equal to 5.97 kips. This is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel and also visit our website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.